Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. For today's video, we're at the Ngorongoro Conservation Area in Tanzania, East Africa. Ngorongoro is one of the most incredible landscapes anywhere on Earth. Jam-packed with animals and different plants, the conservation area covers an enormous area of forests, plains, hills, and of course, that iconic African savanna. For our visit, we're going to focus on the two most important aspects of the site, Ngorongoro Crater and Oldupai Gorge. Let's check it out. The spectacular Ngorongoro Crater is the centerpiece of this World Heritage Site. Located in the north of Tanzania, the crater itself is the remains of a volcano that erupted and then collapsed about two to three million years ago. It's between 16 and 19 kilometers across at various points. So with a depth of 600 meters and a surface area of 264 square kilometers, it's the world's largest intact caldera. Descending the long winding path into the crater is genuinely like entering the Garden of Eden. The rich grasslands, plains and savannah stretching out below you, Lake Magadi glittering in the sun, and the forests below the crater rim rushing up to greet you. Once you're down on the crater floor, it's a jaw-dropping sight. The crater walls surround you on every side, and there's animals everywhere you look. It's estimated that the crater's home to the world's densest population of lions, and it really doesn't take long before you find them. Despite the obvious differences, it's actually incredible how much like domestic cats they really are, and they're genuinely not bothered by humans either. They just hang around, wandering and doing their thing while they pay absolutely no attention to you or your car. Even when they come right up to you, they don't particularly seem to notice you. According to conservationists, there's about 25,000 animals in the crater at any one time. These include large herds of elephants, buffalo, wildebeest, hippopotamus, zebras, gazelles, ostriches, and a handful of black rhinos. We did manage to see a single rhino, but only from a pretty long distance, so apologies for the poor quality photo. There's also plenty of smaller animals too, like hyenas and warthogs. Lake Magadi, although it's very shallow, is home to thousands and thousands of flamingos. It's just such a magical place inside the crater. One of my most iconic memories of our time in Africa is watching animals graze while squalls of rain pass over the crater in the distance and birds soar overhead. We really can't wait to go back. Outside the crater, there's the other key aspect of the World Heritage Site, Oldupai Gorge. This is a deep 14 kilometer long gorge that's part of the larger Great Rift Valley that runs along most of Eastern Africa. Oldupai is a key archaeological site where some of humanity's earliest precursor species have been found. Some of the teeth, bones, and tools discovered at Oldupai are dated to around 3 million years old, which is absolutely staggering. But that's it from us. Thank you very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, 
Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from the World Heritage Journey. We'll see you next time. Thank you.